Israeli forces have continued to pound several areas across the besieged Gaza Strip, killing dozens of Palestinians, as residents reported overnight attacks in Rafah in the south of the enclave. Israeli attacks in Gaza killed 60 Palestinians and injured 140 in the latest 24-hour reporting period, Gaza's health ministry said on Wednesday. It said that many victims remained trapped under the rubble as ambulances and medics were unable to reach them. Residents said fighting intensified in the Tal as Sultan neighborhood in western Rafah, where tanks were also trying to force their way north amid heavy clashes. The armed wings of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad said their fighters attacked Israeli forces with anti-tank rockets and mortar bombs. Since early May, ground fighting has focused on Rafah, abutting Egypt on Gaza's southern edge, where around half of the enclave's 2.3 million people had been sheltering after fleeing other areas. Most have since had to flee again. Al Jazeera's Hani Mahmoud, reporting from Deir El Bala, said the previous 24 hours were violent, bloody, and quite brutal for Palestinians in Gaza. There have been more attacks on densely populated areas, whether it is in the northern part of the Strip, the central area of Nusirat or further to the southern parts of Gaza, where the Israeli military is still operating aggressively, destroying and systematically demolishing residential homes in Rafah city, Mahmoud said. The Israeli military said in a statement its forces killed a Hamas fighter and that jets struck dozens of targets in Rafah overnight, including fighters, military structures and tunnel shafts. Later on Wednesday, an Israeli attack killed eight Palestinians and wounded others near the northern Jabalia camp, one of the Gaza Strip's eight historic refugee camps, the Palestinian Wafa News Agency reported. In the Nusirat refugee camp in the central Gaza Strip, tank shells struck an apartment, killing at least five people and wounding others, medics said. More than eight months into Israel's assault on Gaza, international mediation backed by the US, Qatar and Egypt has failed to yield a ceasefire agreement. Hamas says any deal must bring an end to the war and full Israeli withdrawal from Gaza, while Israel says it will accept only temporary pauses in fighting until Hamas is eradicated. In the northern Gaza Strip, Palestinians complained of a severe lack of food and soaring prices. Health officials said thousands of children were suffering from malnutrition, which has already killed at least 30% since October 7. There is only flour and canned food, there is nothing else to eat no vegetables, no meat, and no milk, said Abu Mustafa, who lives in Gaza City with his family. Their house was struck in the past week by an Israeli tank shell, which destroyed most of the upper floor. Apart from the bombing, there is another Israeli war taking place in northern Gaza starvation. People meet in the street and M.